Hi everyone, my name is Nude and I'm here representing Code Pink, a feminist-led organization rejecting imperialism everywhere. I'm happy to see you all coming today in support for Palestinian liberation. And I want to start with a text from my friend Mohammed, who is currently in northern Gaza. He says, we are living in horror here. I'm sitting at home. I expect that at any moment, missiles from Israeli occupation aircrafts will fall on us. I hear the sound of missiles coming from above our house. One of the most prominent questions we need to ask ourselves right now is why can we hear these words and these first-hand accounts from Gaza, yet the genocide still continues? Why do only 18 representatives and one senator support a ceasefire? And why is Biden insistent upon funding this genocide? The answer is simple. Palestinians have been stripped of their humanity to justify this genocide. Code Pink, as a feminist organization, has seen for 20 years how Arab and Muslim women are used as political pawns by imperialists. But we see through their propaganda. Palestinian women are committed to life and dignity. They are not human shields. They are the vanguard for liberation. Don't be mistaken in thinking the IOF is strategically targeting Palestinian resistance fighters or that this is some sort of religious issue. Palestinians are being murdered simply for being Palestinian. Palestine is a home for people across all faiths and Netanyahu has declared war on every single one of them. Like I said, Palestinians are being murdered simply for being Palestinian. But the Western media will mislead you to think otherwise by weaponizing Islamophobia against them. The Shame! The U.S. used this strategy to justify the war on terror after 9-11, and they're doing it again now because it worked. It allowed the U.S. to murder nearly 5 million people with no accountability. Shame! So I ask Biden, is this how you want to be remembered? As a genocidal, destructive warmonger? Shame! Look at this crowd. Clearly, the American people do not agree with your genocidal plans. You must call for a ceasefire now or solidify your position as one of the most inhumane presidents in American history. The American people demand a ceasefire, an end to the occupation, and the full liberation of Palestine. Mohammed told me the only thing that makes him happy is knowing we are by his side. And I promised I would never give up on the fight for his safety and for a free Palestine. And I would like you all to make that promise to him as well. So please repeat after me. Dear Muhammad, Dear Muhammad I, promise, I promise, we promise, we promise to not